you suffered from anxiety mm. for a little while. Yep. And that's when, because I offered you a cup of tea or coffee yeah. and you're like, I can't nah. because of the caffeine in yep. it. So what happened? What was going on when you realised, okay, I'm getting anxiety here? Um, I, the first time it happened, I was on an aeroplane and I've been flying my whole life and never had a problem. And unfortunately for me, I suffered my first panic attack midair on a oh flight God. halfway um, to the Sunshine Coast. So it was about an hour in, sitting there with Bobby, perfectly fine. I don't recall thinking anything at the time. And all of a sudden I just had these tingles up my, it was like a river. It was just like rushing up my leg, it was coming. And then I'm thinking, what's happening to my body? My heart started racing, you know, I was getting dizzy. I vomited Wow. everything under the sun. And I'd never experienced anything like that in my life. Um, looking back on my childhood, I think that I've always had a bit of anxiety. I've always sort of been on edge, um, you know, never been able to sit still, can lose my temper really quickly, which I still can, um, things like that. Uh, but then that, from that flight, it just, it was like a waterfall effect. It right. just kept happening and kept happening. and. There was nothing really, you know, there was no trigger point in right. my life that went, you know, that's it. And when I started to see psychologists, they'd say, you know, is, have you suffered any trauma? Mm. And I'm sitting there going, no, I've just got engaged. I've got a beautiful, healthy baby and mm. I've got a wonderful family. And you start to think, what the hell is wrong yeah. with me? Why am I feeling like this? And it's, it's really hard to explain to people who've never experienced it or never you know had any understanding of it mm. so I said to Jared from the start I didn't try and hide it. I said can you tell all of your family what I'm going through please just I just need them to know just if I need their help or if I lose it at some point or if I break down I just need them to have it's you not, know yeah. the heads up um, my family was amazing Jared was absolutely incredible but yeah, I, I don't know. And I'd, I'd be at home and I'd be making breakfast or I'd be, I remember this horrible day of just hanging the washing out and, um, and experiencing this panic attack and it just wouldn't stop. No. And it just went and went. There was a, two times there that Jared took me to the hospital in the middle of the night because I was so convinced that I, you know, was about to have a heart attack or that my head was hurting and a brain tumour, but it was no. just anxiety. Um, and it's, it's horrific. And I wrote a post on it literally as, as soon as it started developing as I do. And talked about it with everyone and although it's one of those things that although I had so many women saying to me I know what you're going through and blah 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 it doesn't make you feel any better because no. you just keep thinking well, why do I feel like this yeah. you know especially when your life on paper is so perfect yeah I'm you going know? tick tick yeah. you know I've got everything and I, I do struggle from it a little bit still but I've got that understanding now that it is just in your head and mm. it is you know I can manage it better but I certainly do still get it how did you, how did you go about when you were like, okay, this is yeah. what it is, this is anxiety. What did you do to try and get it under control? So I was seeing a psychologist sometimes two or three times a week. I yeah. was highly medicated for a while there. I'd need sleeping tablets every night to go to sleep. Wow. Um, there became a point there in the, in the worst part of it. You know, I've always been pretty flexible with Bobby. He had his first sleepover at nine weeks at his grandparents and mm. me and Jared went out. But then when he hit about eight months old and I was in, you know, this is really bad at this point. I could not leave him. Like, right. well, he couldn't leave me. He couldn't be out of my sight. And I, I turned into a mum that I didn't want to be. Right. I turned into a person I didn't want to be. I've always been really strong, really, you know, outspoken, really, you know, thick skinned. And all of a sudden I was crumbling and crying and I wasn't secure. Mm. And I really struggled with, with that. Yeah. So now i just have so much you know i was always that person it sounds so so bad but you know one of my sisters suffered with depression for quite a while there and and i would i would think what's wrong with you like yeah. just you know like suck it up we're trying to help you and and i was always that person that did judge a little bit mm. and now that i've experienced it because i did get diagnosed with postnatal depression as well but that was i think i just dabbled in it a little bit but i i look at it from the point that I think it was my anxiety was just making me depressed yes. because I didn't want to feel like that. Um, but now I just have so much sympathy yeah. for mental health issues. It's just so horrific. It's such a hard, you know, I've had um, um, bouts of depression yep. as well and I find that medication is what works for me, yep. eating what makes my Yeah, I found some exercising. dietary requirements and stuff like that. Mm. And I look at it from the point that you know, it needs to be taken so seriously. Yeah. And I think no one wants to get cancer, but everyone gives them the sympathy and they get yeah. the treatment. 
no one wants to get anxiety or no one wants to get depression but it's often just yeah. looked at like let's you know mm. what's wrong let's suck it up sometimes i'm like wish it was something physical so then yeah. you go shit you've got a really bad arm yeah exactly you and know? that's the yeah. thing but because you can't often explain how you're feeling yeah it is hard to translate yeah but or when people when you say you know i just feel really sad or i feel really yeah. flat people if they don't yeah. have it are like yeah yeah, I, know. I had someone too. say to me, do you ever just take a deep breath sometimes? Mm. And I just wanted to, I didn't know if I wanted to kill them or cry or, yeah. <laughs> or scream. I just, I just thought, you've got no idea, do you? Yeah. So I've just got, you know, even if it's the slightest bit or they're really, you know, head under, I just feel so sorry for, for anyone who suffers any form of mental mm. illness. It's horrific. And it is, it's an illness and it needs to be looked at it like that. Totally.